The families of, of African American victims of this kind of racist violence are often expected to offer forgiveness. Strong Island is not that film. I am Yancey Ford, director of the documentary film Strong Island. Strong Island chronicles my family's journey to a town called Central Islip, where my parents started their family. Pretty normal life until my brother was murdered in 1992. A grand jury of 23 white people decided there was no crime here. And the person who shot and killed my brother went back to his life and my family was left to deal with the consequences. It's a case that happened 25 years ago and really it could have happened yesterday. The grand jury deliberated over two days. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson. In the film you hear, you know, the detective describe William as a big guy. When I read from the, the autopsy report, you realize that he's short, five feet eight inches. Bodies literally morph. Behavior gets conflated. That looks like a bad dude too. Narratives that are, that are generations old get laid over these cases. And the officer who fired the fatal shots feared for his life. Roy Oliver said he feared for his life. He truly wasn't fair for his life. What we wind up with is a scared white person who shoots and kills an unarmed black person. And we see time and time again grand juries declining to send cases to trial. What they spent time on was investigating his background. It's not like my parents were insane, right? My parents had the, the quote unquote talk with all of us. We were told how to interact with police officers, but my brother didn't anticipate that his range of human emotions would get him killed. It is an investigation into the what happens after, which is what we don't typically see. These single shootings, these single deaths, don't actually kill one person. They kill multiple people. They take entire families apart. Literally, the physical effects of grief, of guilt, of blame, of injustice, wrote themselves on each of us over time. The year after my brother died, my father had a massive stroke and passed away three years after that. My brother's story is important. He didn't disappear. He was killed. Now, there's power in saying that. What's up? I'm PJ with The Root. We're dedicated to bringing you more series and videos like this, and we need your help. Let us know what you thought below, and also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thanks.